If this was the beer of the future, I would probably drink less beer. Working on this project was a trip, but it makes total sense. Beer is such a biological and an agricultural product that it's gonna be so affected by climate change. So it's kind of interesting to think about what beer could look like in this world that we're trying to avoid. When New Belgium reached out and they wanted me to do the illustration for Torched Earth Ale, I thought it was really interesting because living in California and seeing the hotter summers, more wildfires, it has you know affected our day-to-day -day life and you just can't ignore it. We wanted to think about how climate change would affect things like agriculture and uh, shifting climate zones and uh, intense weather events. So some of the ingredients we chose were we picked a smoke malt and so that's supposed to emulate forest fires. We also wanted to pick some more drought and weather tolerant grains. So we picked buckwheat and millet. The other thing that we put in there is we used hop extract because those hops are such a, a delicate agricultural product. A lot of the design came from imagery from films and documentaries. So I was looking at picking a color palette that felt a little bit more muted and colors that felt a bit more like, this is not gonna be a great future if we don't change things. One of my favorite beers is definitely Fat Tire. And I think that it's kind of sad to compare the two. It just doesn't have a lot of the things that make Fat Tire great, including that nice sweet balance with the bitterness and like that nice fresh hop aroma to it. And I think that's just gonna be really hard to accomplish in the future where we don't have access to all these great ingredients. A lot of times when I'm making work about climate change, it's usually just a graphic and it's explaining information. But with this project, you're literally gonna be tasting the difference, which I think is really powerful. And I think will maybe get people to think not just to see a statistic or see a fact, but also experience it. So in order to make Fat Tire the first certified carbon neutral beer in the US, uh, one of the first things we really wanted to do was analyze where we were producing CO2. And that's our agricultural products that we purchase and our transportation and our own processes. And then we tried to reduce it as much as possible. And then after that, we did actually invest in some carbon offsets, but we really wanted carbon offsets that are sustainable and moving the entire industry forward. I'm hoping that if we continue doing good things like having carbon neutral companies, I'm hopeful that it's not too late. I hope people will react to this beer and I think that they'll, they'll see that this is a future we don't want. I hope that they'll understand that we can still change things. We can make it so this doesn't become the future of beer, that beer can continue the way it is now and it can be that great thing that we all love.